have this kit set up a tap it differently um i wanted to allow some type of air to get i don't in other words i didn't want it to be stuck to this while it was curing wow that looks really good i mixed together some purple actually i missed it mixed it a few hours ago but i got called away so um, it looks like it's still good. It's kind of thick. It's a purple tone, but we'll see how it works. see any purple now I know my eyes are bad but uh, nothing really showed up and I don't think that if there was a little bit that it's really significant especially when we you know put on the next brown layer so I'm going to kind of skip past the next 10 minutes of me trying to get little purple spots on the kit so instead, what I wisely decided to do was to enhance the blue. So more shading, um, definitely needed more blue on the spine, um, more darkening of the veins, and I think it improved it a lot.
I think some people would look at this kit and say, wow, this looks like a real baby. I think it's perfectly fine the way it is now. Maybe add some lip color and some nails, but looks great. But you know what? We're not going for perfectly fine. We are going for extraordinary. So let's keep it going. I think I did enough blue, but I want to do a little bit of a comparison. Now, I want you to look, check out uh, Billy's skin tone. It looks brown right here. Now, check out Precious. This is the kit that was uh, made by Laurie Sullivan Roy. And she is a little bit light, but after her matting, you see how light she turned out? So we definitely need to go more brown. What do you think? Okay, so I think Steven is starting to look very much like a little baby. You know, he really does. So you know what that means, guys? It means that it's time to cover him up a little bit. I haven't had any problems with YouTube. There hasn't been any issues with doll nudity. However, we wanna keep it that way. So with that said, Steven can now be referred to as a little boy Look at him, guys. He's so adorable. Look, I got to move the camera. Do a close-up. He's so cute. Yeah, I can call him he now. It's really nice. Okay. Let's get back into position so that we can now begin painting uh, more skin tone. Okay. This is the color that I mixed. It's a little, it has a little bit more blood in it than brown. I will be taking a pause in order to um, have a pizza break. Okay. Let's position him like this. Start with the legs first just in case no we're not gonna we're not gonna put that in the universe we're just starting with the legs uh we're gonna be back to using this so i love the way that works we are only going to we're not going to do the toes we're not going to do the bottoms and the palms so let's start
I painted his little boy parts uh, off camera.
asked me why I cover the kit and I'm gonna show you the fuzzies. They are attracted to the silicone. So they just jump from whatever. Whatever there is fuzz is just gonna jump to the kit. And so I use 99% um, isopropyl alcohol between the paint to make sure that we don't, see, there was another one that just jumped on there to make sure that we don't have a fuzzy kit. So that is why it's very important to cover your kit while it's curing. You're not gonna get 100% of the um, fuzz off, but at least you can, you know, not have to deal with so much of it. After the kit has cured, I used a wet paper towel and I sprayed some um, isopropyl alcohol on it and tried to get as many of the fuzzies off as I can. I also switched to a new uh, puppy pad, which I thought worked better. Um, now what I'm also trying is a darker toned paint on the back. So we've already put one tone of brown on the front and now we have to put one tone of brown on the back. Now even though I've used a darker color, I'm using the uh, cosmetic sponge instead the cosmetic wedge to take off more of the paint. But um, I think it, I think I like it um, with the darker paint. It's at least allowing things to move along a lot faster. Another thing that I'm trying is to um, paint both sides of the arms and the legs because I think we're far, far enough along. Do you see how that wedge flipped out? <laughs> but I think we're far enough along that um, it's not going to mar the paint if I do the front and the back. And I, I think it's just going to give me a more even tone. I can't really do much with the thighs, but at least below the knees. I'll be able to do front and back, and then I'll be able to do front and back of the entire arm.
Wow, I feel like we have covered a lot in this episode. Come back for the next one and I am going to do one final brown tone on Billy's face. Let's see how that turns out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.